Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloudsync. In today's session, we'll look at web signing for Windows, which has recently transitioned from public preview to global availability. Starting in Windows 11, version 22H2, you can now enable a web-based signing experience on all your Microsoft Entry Join devices, unlocking new signing options and capabilities. This feature is called web signing. As per my screenshot below for Amanda Brady, we can see there's a web signing icon in which will take us to a user experience page in which we can enter our email address and password for internet authentication. This feature is called web signing. Web signing is a credential provider and was initially introduced in Windows 10 with a support for temporary access pass only, i.e. TAP. With the release of Windows 11, the supported scenarios and capabilities of web signing are now expanded. For example, you can now sign in with Microsoft Authenticator app, SAML Federated Identity, or Windows Hello for Business. If I was to show you a quick demo. This demo is based off passwordless signing, i.e. number matching using your Microsoft Authenticator app. So if I was to click here, and say for example, I'm Amanda Brady, or maybe I'm an alternative user, I can select signing options, I can select the web signing experience. However, I set up password list authentication. So I enter my email address, and with that, it gives me an option to authenticate using the Microsoft Authenticator app, in which will take me to my desktop. We also have other options, i.e. the use of Windows Hello for Business, temporary access pass, and signing in with federated identity. For example, the use of temporary access pass will look like this in terms of workflow. Once again, I'm Amanda Brady. I'm clicking the web sign in icon. I select sign in. And with that, it's going to ask me for my temporary access pass. I copy and paste that. I select sign in. And once again, this is being authenticated over the internet. How does this work? Pretty much provides, it provides a web experience. Then the authentication is done over the internet in which the uh, token barrier is then sent down to the operating system for authorization. In terms of prerequisites for um, web signing, uh, you do need to be on the latest, uh, latest Windows 11 update, uh, which is 22H2. Uh, your operating system does also have to be Windows Pro or Enterprise for this to work. So how do I deploy it? That's probably the next question. Okay, we need to go into endpoint.microsoft.com, um, which is your MDM solution, uh, Microsoft Intune. So if I was to navigate to the endpoint console uh, or the MDM console for your directory, and I was to select devices, I can either click Windows and then go to configuration profiles, or I can, or I can scroll down to configuration profiles. I then have an option to create a profile. I want to select create profile. I want to select the platform. As I said, it's supported on Windows 11 devices upwards. For Windows 10, you can only use the, the likes of temporary access pass. So if I select Windows 10 or later, and select profile type settings catalog, we'll be using settings catalog as it's a, a gradual transition from group policy object on-premise to uh, Microsoft Cloud. And it's uh, much easier for administrators to use. If I select create, I'm gonna just gonna call the configuration profile web sign-in. I'm going to leave the description blank, it's not mandatory, and as per the, the platform as Windows 10 and later. If you are using Windows 10, like I said, you can only use TAP. If we're using Windows 11+, Plus, we've got the use of Windows Hello for Business and all the additional capabilities. If I select Add Settings, um, next pane we want to select Authentication. And we've got, we've got a few options uh, for configuration here. The main one is enabling web signing. So you want to select enab enable web signing. We do have the use to define which domains can be used to sign in using the web signing um, user experience, which we can configure. And we can also configure the webcam, uh, for example, for Windows Hello. However, our main uh, point of call here is to enable web signing. Uh, we want to come out of here and we then have an option to either use the feature defaults, which uh, reside in the existing SKU. OK, um, it could be um, we just want to enable it by default and that to take precedence over all the other authentication methods um, or have it dis disabled. In terms of licensing SKU, um, it's going to be a Windows um, 11 Enterprise E3 or, or E5 uh, from an operating system uh, perspective. Um, and then, and then the next stage is just to press next, um, scope that to a Microsoft 365 security group where your um, users or devices reside, 
um, you can segment the access um, using the, the principle of zero trust um, and always assume and breach. Um, and with that, the, the deployment will succeed and you will be able to use the website and experience alongside any of the additional um, authentication methods you configure um, using the likes of Windows Hello for Business and Federated Identity, for example. Um, alter alternatively, we can configure it through the use of OMA-URI. Uh, um, however, preferably um, do it through the settings catalog, much easier. In terms of limitations, um, cache credentials are not supported. Uh, for example, if you didn't have any internet connectivity or the device was offline, um, it wouldn't be able to cache the credential, therefore you would not be able to authenticate to the device. Um, also, if you uh, are midway through the workflow process of uh, authenticating through the website and experience, you need to go back to, to the kind of the lock screen or home screen of the lock screen, you could just select control or delete and that will uh, place you back to the lock screen um, homepage. Um, that was just a quick overview on the website and experience. Any questions, please let me know. Uh, but once again, this is just transition from public preview to global availability, therefore fully supported through the Microsoft uh, support channels. Thank you very much.